Hello! So today we will be talking about a big mistake of one of the player on the map I'm currently on. Now, I was taking a base down um, the south of the map and then I noticed Bigfoot was moving his troop to one particular place. So I knew he's about to attack something. So I sent my Horton to scout it what's gonna happen and then I've noticed a very weak base which we still have well by now we don't have any more but at that point we still had a few but once I went there I scout the other two bases the air bases and that's what I found look at this look at this new newer newer this is the biggest mistake you can make on the map. What I mean is, clearly he's got a gold, right? But for some strange reason, he put two flags. Now he put long range and armor, that's great, but it's only two flags, that's nothing, right? Nothing. On the other base, he put five flags, and they're level two, but most likely because he couldn't upgrade to the long range because of the base above him. So, for some strange reason, he didn't put more uh, flux. And this is the, the biggest mistake you can do. Now, I can't even defend him here that he forgot. Because during, you know, that video you will see that he was actually making other troops. So he was fully aware what's happening. You must not do that ever. Because two flags, even the long range, are as attractive as a weak base. So what I've planned, <clears throat> so what I plan in here, I plan to prepare myself and my plan was to take all three bases. Now, there was a big foot above it with some troops but it wasn't too much of uh, uh, of uh, of an enemy for me at that point although i was taking that that into account hence i made a moles and uh, the, the the little tanks to fight his brothers and stuff okay now what i'm doing at the moment i'm letting them while i'm making my troops I'm letting them to waste the troops so I have less to go through and uh, and then once I'm ready I'm gonna move in yeah this is the base I've just taken and I am just preparing to go in here now you will see that right now I will have one base with two flags only a uh, full um, the, the full range and armor another air base with five level two flags and obviously the weak base so what you really want is to go for the one with the two flags and not because there are only two flags but obviously if this is a gold player and we know he is if I go for any of other two bases he will know what's coming and he will fast produce the flux on that base with a long range. And obviously if we get more than two, I mean even three is a little bit tricky, I would still probably do it. Uh, but if you have a gold you would probably put like five or six. And, and then that will be not enough for what I had at that, at that point. So I'm just hoping at that moment as you can see i'm hoping that he's not gonna actually make more flux and i was observing him for a while now the video um, i've cut the video to a certain um uh, to the certain portions um just to cut the the the, the time i've been waiting uh, but i've been observing him for a while because i didn't want to waste playing if he's you know put no, 10 flags let's say but he didn't so what you're gonna do or what, what you should do at that point you go for the one with the two flags 
once you take that down and you have to expect some resistance okay once you take that base then you will move not to the weakest one you move to the other base with the five flags it's gonna be more difficult to take but you have to take him because then he will be out of your way now by the time you take that base the guy above very unlikely he's gonna upgrade the flux because he would have done it by now if he had gold so you know this is gonna be very easy base to you for, for you to take so then the next problem you will have with the book Bigfoot right because he might send some troops to uh, to well to, to, to try to interrupt you yeah so obviously you need to take that into account and hence I've made some troops to you know to, to prevent him to do it but um yeah that's what it is so I'm, I'm just gonna speed up now okay so i just um fast forward that slightly so right now i'm going after that base now you can see that he start producing the flag but he start making the flag the moment he saw me attacking him which is obviously too late okay with so many bombers I will I will take that base so now in the meantime what you didn't see he made some skinks to get rid of the bombers of the Bigfoot right so I need to be careful but at the same time I've already prepared set of uh, XR ones so and he doesn't know about this right so you're gonna bring them they will start shooting but I'm not moving my planes, I'm just gonna get rid of them quickly, yeah? So there you go. This is a little bit painful for me. Yeah, I think I've lost one bomber. But you cannot move out, yeah? You just need to carry on. And there you go. Now, that's it. I think he's gonna bring another set of... Um, skinks from the south oh yes there was a uh, sp6 fp6 sorry but obviously that that's not enough to to you know to stop so many bombers so so it's done that's that's almost 12 percent gone he's got three minutes like almost four minutes uh, to go for another flag is not gonna make it that's another bomber gone unfortunately but so so now he realized that he made a mistake now at that point if you are this guy or if you were this guy what I would do I would make loads of flags on the other base forget to protect that you're not going to be able to protect that but obviously the, the, the enemy won't be able to take two bases at the same time so now you have time to make more flags because the even if you make a troops or or lots of skink uh, uh, he could have made a probably a set of skink by the time I finished that base but that, that wouldn't be enough because I, I mean he, he I, I suspect he knew I might have some other troops as well uh, so so that wouldn't be a, a good idea so the thing what you could do is to make more flags on the other base which unfortunately he didn't do so yes I'm moving my troops now um, I've started making breaders as well I was actually hoping to take those three bases and then go for the Bigfoot base um, but that didn't happen at that time so now I've got a set of moles um, a small tanks and M19s in case there are some big planes appears which would be hard for me to uh, to defend so this is it I've done my um, I've done my first airbase okay and now I'm gonna move to the next one 
Okay, so now we move into the next one. You can see he put some flux. Um, you see, I didn't even um, uh, notice that uh, previously, but he did actually put some flux. Um, because he now has six, I believe. Seven, yeah, actually, yeah. So he made two flags already, which was good, but it was not not fast enough, unfortunately. So now I need to fight that till the end. So hopefully I will have enough uh, enough planes uh, to do so. Don't have any other troops, but I think he had a, a home base at the bottom. So now it will be up to him whether he's got enough resources and enough gold to actually make some troops to defend that. He still could do it. He would need to fight against a set of moles. Um, M19s are not really that powerful if you have a ground troops, uh, but the moles are, are you know, annoying. So, so um, if I was him at that point, I would probably make some heavy tanks for the moles. And some anti uh, anti air units. I probably could defend that base. It would cost a, a bit of gold, but I probably could could defend that. Obviously, that is all up to um, individuals. You know how much you want to sacrifice uh, for your base. So at the moment, yeah, I couldn't upgrade that to the uh, to the full range because of. Uh, the other troops around it and uh, that's why I've only got a second um, a level two flags just getting rid of that and uh, let me let me just uh, fast forward this as well now uh, there was a situation I didn't notice that uh, Bigfoot I believe there was Bigfoot he sent some uh, anti-air planes uh, the helicopters yeah that was Bigfoot so these are very dangerous helicopters for uh, for um, uh, uh, for the planes uh, because they are designed to fight air units. So if you don't realize quickly that they are there, they can actually do quite a lot of damage. Yeah, and to be honest, it is hard to realize because they're not they're not really that obvious to see. If you fly a bunch of the anti-air helicopters sort of into the bunch of the planes if someone don't pay attention too much you, you you know you won't be able to realize what's happened your minimap which unfortunately is covered here is flashing so you can't really see if it's flashing because of the enemy or because you know you are attacking the base so so it is very tricky and, and bear in mind if you can see that there is only one guy attacking you it is very big chances that he will not be paying attention just to one thing because he cannot do he needs to look everywhere right to make sure that is 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 all is all going according to plan um so i think bigfoot has sent uh, helicopters few more times uh, but uh, it wasn't it wasn't that bad so let me fast forward that again now during that attack I've noticed that Bigfoot was moving out um, I think he must have realized that he won't be able to to get it so he decided to go elsewhere now I flew my helicopter to obviously take some of his troop down and then at the same time I've noticed there is another weak base just above it so it won't be in this video, but uh, it was an interesting moment where he tried to take it. I kind of scared him off and so he went away, but then I left that base there and I found another few weak bases just a little bit um, higher above that base. So I left that one. I went um, north. I took two bases, but that was in the war fog, so I didn't see what's happened. And he actually managed to 
take down the base. Although he didn't make it uh, with the APC. So that's another thing what you have to always remember. If you see someone else's troops, you know, gathering somewhere, then that's the indication they are about to take a base. And if they take the base, what you can do just to observe them and make your troops ready but you have to do do it in a smart way so he not realize that you're actually waiting for it right but if you're smart enough you wait until he take the base i mean he, he, he knock all the flags down and then you move with your troops now by that time he will be uh, usually um a, a weaker by that by the time he took the base uh the, the, took the flags down and then you should be able to take the base, um, I mean, scare him off and, and take the base. And that may cost you much less than, um, than actually, you know, attacking the base. So as you can see in here, I took the airbase. There is pretty much no resistance on this, on the weak base. We know that this guy must give up because he's um, uh, he was clearly making flags so he was online and he knew that the inevitable is coming uh, probably he didn't have well obviously he didn't have a gold and probably didn't have a more resources to make more flags and uh, so so he had to he had to give up which is fair enough uh, but you can see here you can see here how we think and to be honest there's no there's no other players especially the experienced players that would have done this differently i mean at, at the end of the day they'll probably take all three bases uh, some of them they would go for the for the weak base first uh, but in my opinion the risk is that if you send bunch of troops on the weak base which is nearby the other two bases with a gold player, that gold player will fast produce the flags. Almost undoubtedly. So that's why the, the strategy is to grab the guy who was careless, because in my opinion was careless not to put more flags, because he is your bigger threat than the weak base above. The weak base above, if it's been there for so long, it will definitely be after you take those two bases, and that's what actually happened. So that's what you have to uh, think about. If you don't have enough troops, always remember that if there are only two bases, uh, sorry, if there are only two flags, uh, which are, you know, level two and level three, um, if you don't have enough troops, uh, perhaps it might be risky to attempt because, you know, I would always scout around to make sure that he doesn't really have any more troops. And then if he doesn't have any more troops and you have enough, then I would attack. Now, if I was this guy, I would probably, having two bases next to each other, that will give you quite a... A, 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 a big advantage of actually making troops quickly and keeps attacking as long as you've got the resources and, and the gold uh, uh, yeah and the gold um, but I could have I could have probably I, I, I would have even saved the other uh, airbase uh, with, with uh, obviously uh, it, would, it, would, it would cost me obviously um, a bit of gold but I could have done this so that's that's what it is um oh this is quite this is quite a interesting um situation i'm just gonna made a separate video of it i even forgot that i've made it now i want to make a long range long range flag here right oh, i've done it already uh, but i will make a separate video so when you Click. Let me actually um, go back to it. Yeah. Look, I want to make a long range. You see, it says that there is a stealth unit somewhere, and in brackets, it will give you 
the indication of where it is and I'll give you exactly where it is so what you should do if you find exact location take any of your troops and move into that position and then once the troop is there remember the guy doesn't really know that you are after him okay you move the ideally spy plane and then into that position move some anti-air units ideally uh, moles are perfect yeah and then because you don't know what is there it could be horton which has uh, 2000 uh, armor so it's it's difficult to to um to uh, to shut it down with just the detect plane and then you make a detect plane and fly over let me oh, actually i don't have to speed it up so the plane is ready and now we go in right into that place now in this case there was only one xr1 so obviously you see he went down very quickly but if that was horton probably would have wouldn't survive um that bunch of m19s and the and the moles especially if the guy wasn't around so so that's what you have to remember uh, when you are attacking the base. Always look around and make sure that you plan this out for the entire uh, battle. Yeah, and then you will be able to grab three bases. Uh, in fact, on that day, I took those three, and then uh, I took another four um, there were weaker bases uh, but uh, there was another four uh, just after uh, that video always make a plan of what you're planning to do and stick to that plan unless really something really unexpected happened but generally it won't stick to your plan and you're gonna win never give up as i said in uh, in the other video uh, and I'm not saying that as a sort of a motivational video it's just always think about how much you spent to get to this point so if you ever think you know oh, I, I, oh you know I, I, I think I'm not gonna make it no you're gonna make it you always have to say to yourself you you will make it and stick to the end remember I was here on my own but towards the end I've got some other guys uh, came to help so, so remember, even if you are on your own, you can ask for, for your guys and they will come. They might be on the other end of the map and they'll take them longer, but they will come eventually. You need to hold your ground and you will succeed. You will always succeed if you push in hard enough. Anyway, once again, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one.